race that was. So we go up to the next heat of the women's fours and the start list, you see Italy lane one, Denmark, Romania, probably the favorites in the center lanes, Germany closest to us. And there's Romania, the white boat in the center of the two yellow boats, Germany and Denmark, Italy at the top of your picture mainly getting off to a really good start and now we're back live yeah here we are uh, 1100 meters gone that Romanian crew looking really strong out there in first place back from them it's Germany in second place yeah and this Romanian crew I saw them race at the under 23s in Poznan three of the crew that took the silver medal in that event and uh, Hughes and Buhus Kasu and Panascu in the Romanian boat finished seventh in the Lynx round of the World Cup there's the Italians they really do look to be struggling the Italians don't they yeah just a little bit off the pace there Italy up there in lane one Romanians setting that absolute blistering pace here Germany managing to stay with them Denmark perhaps still to challenge. Just two of these boats going to go through to the A final. Romania through the thousand in 3:21, just a second slower than the Russians. There is the Italian stroke one closest to you, Georgia Palacci, 26 of age from the Lario Club. And Germany tracking. That's a real surprise to see the Germans doing so well in this. Oscar Hacker, Kruser, and Alex Hofgen in the strokes. And uh, at the moment, that bow of that number four is in pole position for a qualification directly to the final with 500 metres to go. There will be a charge from the Danes, this new Danish crew. Doing well in third place. Stroke by Tanya Ehlers. The 37-year-old. The rest of the crew are quite young behind her. You know, 37 years of age and experience in a race like this. And you can see the Italians, after all that suffering, they are desperately... Well, they're hanging on to the Danes. The Italians at the top of your picture in the white boat. And they are tracking the Danes. And that fight, Cat, is taking them back to the Germans. who are in that second place with just, what, 350 metres to go. Yeah, they're just creeping back up on the Germans there. Italy, I think, just moved through Denmark with that high rating up there in lane one. Romanians still hanging on to that first place. Germany clinging on to second, but the Italians are coming through up there in lane one. So there you see at the top of your picture, the race for the second place with 250 metres left to go. We're into Red Boys now. Germany stroked by the experience of Alex Hofgen from the Neusser Rudewein in the stroke seat, backed up by Ida Kruse from Rudewein Munster behind her and coming under extreme pressure from the Italians. They are not so far behind now as they come up to the line. Great sprint from the Italian stroke woman, Giorgi Palacci. And the Germans are responding now. Germany now the fastest crew on the course, 17.8 kilometers an hour here. We're seeing on that graphic, but Romania clinging on. Germany moving through them now. It's going to be Romania and Germany, by the looks of it, taking these two spots. So coming into the final stages here, it's going to be Romania crossing the line in first place. And the Germans take second, with Italy in third and Denmark in fourth. So that was a fantastically judged race from Romania, led from the get-go, and uh, a little celebration from Roxana Pascaru, 21-year-old in the stroke seat, European champion in this event from 2017. Germany exhausted, but I think delighted underneath that. The Italians, well, they know they've got a better second.